Hello and welcome back, all you very fine people. Today's embolism inducing clip comes to us from Jake Tapper's CNN fake news show. And while they do admit Trump was right, you already know that they do it in as favorable way as possible for Joe Biden. Hunter Biden admitted in court in July that he was in fact paid substantial sums uh, from Chinese companies. Kessler wrote Hunter Biden reported nearly 2.4 million in income in 2017 and 2.2 million in income in 2018, most of which came from Chinese or Ukrainian interests. But this, and this directly goes against what Joe Biden said in the debate in 2020 uh, with uh, Donald Trump. No shit. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about uh, what are you talking about? China. What you None of that is true. He made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow, that is simply and various not other places. True. So it's from two different debates, but I mean, Trump was right. I mean, he did make a fortune from China and Joe Biden was wrong. No shit, Sherlock. Yes, exactly. This has all been widely known for years now, but our corrupt media has been dismissing it as Russian disinformation and right-wing conspiracy theories. I'm so glad that they finally realized that Joe Biden's a liar and all of this smoke signals a very legitimate scandal involving the Bidens. I don't know that he was lying about it. He might not have been told by Hunter. Oh, come on! I'd say that this is unbelievable, but I think we all know by this point that this is what we can expect from our state media. Biden can't just be a liar, which he clearly is and has always been known as, but Jake Kissass Tapper has to do immediate damage control and throw out there that he doesn't know if he was lying and maybe he didn't know about Hunter's business dealings. That is absurd on its face, given what we already know about Biden's involvement in Hunter business meetings, which were clearly for the purposes of wielding influence and getting Hunter these deals. I don't know that he was lying about it. He might not have been told by Hunter. What the hell are you talking about? If you needed another reason not to trust these hacks, here's one more. Does it concern you as a Democrat? Well, I think dads have sometimes and parents sometimes have blind spots about their kids for sure. And the president may be no exception. But nothing has tied the president to any of Hunter Biden's dealings. There's no whiff of him being involved or him being implicated in it. We have another <laughs> what? Not a whiff, you say? Really? Oh yeah, except for multiple whistleblowers, Hunter's emails, which reference the big guy who has been confirmed as Joe Biden. The testimony of Hunter and Joe Biden's business partners. And the cherry on the shit Sunday is that Biden keeps changing his stories and lying about this. How could all of that possibly be construed as not a whiff? Not to mention Hunter Biden's lawyer was on MSNBC yesterday and couldn't explain to Joe Scarborough why Hunter's getting millions from these foreign entities. Uh, what? what what did Hunter Biden think he was getting that seven million dollars for? Uh, why, why, why would he be getting paid so much money? All right, well, stop with your seven million dollars. No, no, I, no but, 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 but help me out here again. I, and, and I'm glad you're here to actually break this down. Obviously, Jared raised his three billion dollars very quickly. Uh, we have numbers being thrown around. The seven million dollars is actually not what Comer's saying. Comer has a, a much higher, much more elevated number. So what's the seven million dollars over and how many countries did it come from? Well, OK, so first of all, it's much more complicated than to say it comes from countries. That's too complicated to try to explain what but I can answer the question that you asked in the following way. Hunter Biden went to Georgetown University, went to Yale Law School, was on the board of directors of a bank, was on the board of directors of Amtrak, is somebody who went and worked in an international law firm. People seem to forget that this is not the person who's simply out there having people write checks for no reason. That is one big pile of shit. I don't know. What do you all think about this? Let me know in the comments after you hit that like button, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.